your version version <laughs> hey guys it's me jess and i'm here with a another youtube video y'all recommended i do a q a so here i am doing a q a and i'm also gonna do a get ready with me because i wanted to film later some tiktoks i was gonna do like the what's it called mugshot trend that's what i was gonna do i was gonna do the mugshot trend but first question is why are you bad at cod well evan i'm not bad at cod i mean i'm okay at cod but i'm not the worst okay everybody has a start somewhere so that's my answer okay next question when did you start gaming i started gaming ever since i was young i i've played on ds's i played on a lot of nintendo consoles i've always played video games i've always played with toys i always played with barbies i started playing video games when i was really young and mainly because my dad also loved video games he had like a ps2 ps3 i forgot which one it was girl what is your skin routine because your skin glows um right now since we're in quarantine usually i would use the saint ives apricot scrub i'll put it here somewhere that's what i would use to take off like heavy makeup that's probably what i'm, do what I'm gonna do to take off this makeup next question did you think you'd gain such a huge following on tiktok no i mean at the beginning i was kind of like doing it as a joke and like some of my friends like tiktok as well so we would do them together but we would never post them because we were like too shy to do that and people from our school make fun of us and stuff and we're kind of like self-conscious whatever but for me i like would film on my own just for fun and especially during the summer i think because that's when that like tiktok was happening so it's probably during the summer because that's when i didn't have really much to do so whenever i was bored and i wanted something to do i would go on tiktok and look at the content i always wanted to be like a an influencer no matter what it was but when it when it came to tiktok i've always felt like a lot of people at our school had like this stigma where it was like oh tiktok is lame like tiktok like people who do tiktoks are weird you know so like i was always self-conscious to do that especially with youtube as well i've always wanted to do youtube but i was always too shy to so so i, I had like no idea i was gonna gain any sort of following i just did it for fun and i was like you know what i'm gonna post this i'm gonna do that like see if I can get famous, but it was all like a lot of people in my school do it now, so it's like not really weird. Anyways, next question. Do you plan on doing full-time YouTube slash Twitch? I don't know, because like right now I'm a full-time student. If I were given the opportunity to work full-time as a Twitcher or YouTuber, I would totally do it, but I would always want to have my education on the side just to like, you know, just in case, because some YouTubers do, like, their channels do die. Next question. Where are you from? I'm from California. Um, Southern California. I'll keep asking, like, what city I'm from, and I, like, I'm not gonna answer that because... No, but... Why do you like cats better? I do not like cats better. It's just where I live. Cats are more manageable. Once we get into bigger home, we're probably gonna get dogs. What's your favorite Marvel superhero? <laughs> spider-man of course not because it's tom holland i've never found tom holland attractive i'm sorry girls i've never found him attractive i mean he's a little bit attractive but he's just not like my type but i love spider-man because i love the old movies like the old spider-man movies are so good um where were you born i was born in california southern california glendora hospital that's where i was born next question who was your tiktok crush i don't really have a tiktok crush i don't really find anybody I'm like, it's hard for me to find someone attractive. How's your quarantine? It's going all right. I'm giving myself a lot of things to do. And my, so are my teachers. <laughs> yeah, I'm like occupying myself so I don't get bored and eat a lot. When did you start TikTok and actually started to get into it more? I don't remember the exact date, but my first TikTok that blew up was like my bun TikTok. And that was totally like, that I was, I had no intention of blowing up. I think I started in, sum, in the summertime of 2019. I think that's when I started. What game are you playing most at the moment? I'm playing COD. I've been pay playing it a lot recently and Fortnite as well, but not as much as Fortnite. I've been playing COD more. What's the most embarrassing thing you've done in high school? I don't think there's anything I've done that was embarrassing, but I've had like a horror period, like story. How do you like being a YouTuber? Um, I think it's really cool. I really want to make more content for you guys. That's why I'm filming this. 
but it's like it's really hard for me to be consistent i know i posted like a video really close between each other those two first videos i did but it's because i had time on my plate so so it's gonna be a little different once school gets intense biggest fear i'd probably say choking drowning suffocating whatever you want to say the ability to not like like not being able to breathe scares me because i've had this experience where i wasn't able to breathe okay next what's your favorite food i would say my favorite food like any food i have every food i love fruits though like that's probably my favorite favorite food but if I'd have to say like a specific food like that I would get to a restaurant every single time, spaghetti, spaghetti, pasta, whatever. How are you paying for college? I actually got a few scholarships or I think I got, yeah, I got some scholarships from my academics and I also got a scholarship from the school itself because they can look at your, I don't know, they can look at like your grades and everything and they can see like, oh, do I want this kid in my school? And they'll give me money to like go to school and kind of like motivate the good students to go to school. I'm not saying like I'm a, a perfect student, I'm just saying like, the people who get good grades are like showing like that they're gonna stay in school because most people drop out and then also i got a cal grant which is also for academics because i was able to maintain my grades throughout the years have you ever been spotted in public if so what did they say this is one time i went to this christian retreat with my friend hannah shout out to hannah the we went to this christian ret retreat there's this like little lounge area for all the kids to come um like hang out and stuff and I was just playing like pool or something with my friend Hannah and this little girl she came up to me or she didn't come up to me but she was like hey is, are you Jessica and I was like uh yeah why and she was like oh are you like TikTok famous and I was like yeah it's, yeah, yeah I, I guess and I was like no no but like I was like yeah yeah I guess like I was just really like shy and hesitant do you consider yourself famous um I consider myself to be like somewhat known but i don't feel famous at all even though i'm on famous birthdays i still feel like i'm like not part of that tiktok famous people group because you think you're going to love you i love you too um i think i'm gonna go to cal baptist university okay why are colombians such baddies i feel like colombians are very good looking i don't know because i've seen other colombians they're really good looking is crushing on girls out of state country crazy i feel like it's dumb because you're never gonna see them <laughs> and like it depends on the kind of person you are if you're like a very affectionate person I, i'd say it's a really dumb idea but if you're not and you can handle being like with one person that you're not gonna see a lot then like you do you like only you know yourself so you'll know what you can take what you can handle what you would get tired of and stuff like that of guy i guess you're like asking me like what's my type and guys um i don't really have a type as long as i'm attracted to you and you're my age or older then like i guess what was your first gaming console my first gaming console was the game boy i have like this green game boy i'm gonna put a picture here of what it looked like that was mine and my sister had like a black game boy i had like a light green game boy yeah what do you see yourself doing in five years? I see myself pursuing YouTube, Twitch, and TikTok and all those social media platforms, as well as pursuing a career in nursing, pediatrics, to be more specific. You ever wish you hadn't blown up? Um, no, I actually really enjoy it. And I, I wouldn't like wish to not have it because it's not like I'm super famous and it's not like I'm, I'm not, I don't even feel famous. But it's not like I'm super popular. But it's not like I'm like not well known at all. Oh, they seem to turn on. Have you ever had acne before? Yes, I've had acne before. Like when I start dressing out over school, especially, I start to break out more and I start to worry about things and it causes my hormones to get all crazy. And I start to get stressed out and I feel like that's like the main cause of my acne i get a lot of chin acne i have some scars left over but that's mainly where i would get acne do you want a boyfriend no i feel like i'm very confident that I, once i wait my turn i'm gonna find someone that's like truly meant for me and not just like a temporary person you know relationship status single was the last time you got a boyfriend i've never had an actual boyfriend or someone that i've actually officially called my boyfriend for some people that i've talked to but never an actual boyfriend. 
I've never found someone that has stuck around long enough. My mom has always been strict about dating and stuff like that. Like, everybody's different, so for me, it just like, I've never had the chance to, to call someone. My boyfriend's perfectly normal to not have a boyfriend until you're whatever. Oh, you consider yourself a gamer? Yes, I do consider myself a gamer because what describes a gamer is a person who has a passion, a love so deep that parents would not understand like my parents do not understand I'm somewhat my dad but my mom doesn't understand that much but you have a hairline I don't know, do I have a hairline? I have a hairline are you a virgin? virgin? <laughs> is Animal Crossing fun? yes it is highly addictive once you get it you will not put it back down so make sure to prioritize prioritize your time so you're not spending hours playing animal crossing when you're supposed to be finishing your essay that's due at 11 59 p.m what do you like in a guy asking for a friend i really like humor like if you can make me laugh i really i, I really like that i like someone who's protective not really protective but somewhat protective personality like if you're boring and i'm talking to a rock all day i don't like you sorry i hope you enjoyed the video very mellow, like ethereal. You're not trying too hard.